Kelly and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I wanted to start off this video today by saying I am so excited and extremely grateful to be hitting a thousand subscribers on my channel today. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ali and I'm the content creator behind Mindful Living A. I just wanted to pop on camera and say a very special thank you to you guys watching, my viewers, because without you guys, none of this would have ever been possible. I started my channel a year ago because I wanted to share with you guys my love of gardening, plants, growing your own food, unique recipes, and living more mindfully. Most importantly, I wanted to remind people during these uncertain times to simply follow your passions, whatever they are, because that is where the magic happens and stepping outside your comfort zone, well, that's where the magic lives. It's never too late to simply slow down a little, live in the moment, and find joy in the ordinary. Whatever that is for you. For me, it may be growing my own food, gardening, making unique recipes in my kitchen, but whatever it is for you guys, I encourage you to simply go for it, follow your passions, live your dreams, and of course, simply spend more time in life doing what you love. I started this channel on a total whim and honestly guys, I am so glad that I did because it's allowed me to connect with so many of you near and far. I've really grown to truly love this platform, not only creating videos and uploading them myself, but also watching other YouTubers and connecting with you guys in the comments down below. Anyways, this is just the beginning guys. I want to say again, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see where we grow from here. Let's get started with today's video. So today I'm just going to quickly show you guys how my seedlings are doing so far. I planted these about three weeks ago now. My garden outside is all ready to go and my strawberry plant here has been doing really well. If you guys missed my video on planting strawberries in containers, you can check that out on my channel as well. I posted that a couple weeks ago now. Make sure to stay tuned on my channel as I will be updating you guys with the growth of my strawberries later on in the season. And I wanted to show you guys quickly my chives here just to show you how resilient plants are. So these are actually the chives I planted last year that have popped up on their own and just started growing like crazy, which is awesome. I've been using those in a lot of dishes. Okay, now let's go ahead and show you guys how my seeds have been growing. So as you guys can see, I have lots of growth happening on my seeds right now. There's a few that haven't come through the soil and I'm still waiting on, so you have to make sure when you're planting your seeds that you prepare for that. Certain seeds are gonna take longer to come up through the soil. I mentioned this in my other video, but you wanna make sure you are always checking on your seedlings to make sure they have enough water. You never want these little containers to dry out, so make sure to always check on yours. I say about once a day, and I have said this as well, I do use a grow light for all of my seedlings. You guys can see that hanging above, and this is actually on a timer to give the seedlings the right amount of sunlight, which is anywhere from 14 to 16 hours a day. And now I'm just going to give you guys a close-up here. So this is my bok choy. This was the first seedling to come through. It's been growing really well. And then behind it there I have my kale. There's two kale plants. In the very back there I have a few parsleys coming in. Peppermint took a really long time to come through the soil. But if you guys look really close, I do have a few little seedlings coming up. And at the very end there is banana peppers. I have a couple banana peppers coming up there. And the two off to the side there are my tomatoes. I have one of my Roma tomatoes come through already. From there I have some herbs. I have basil, thyme, oregano all growing really well so far. There I have my cherry tomatoes, strawberries, oriental greens a few jalapenos, and romaine lettuce. I'll be sure to update you guys when I start transferring things outside into my garden. I hope if you guys enjoyed this video today, you will leave me a like, leave me a comment down below, let me know how your garden is going this year, and as always, subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next one.